Just a little more background about how all this is working. Uh, the courtroom is, it's a good sized courtroom, uh, a, a normal uh, federal courtroom, but this is an unusual case with seven defendants and the government and all of the defendants have at least one attorney and maybe an investigator and a paralegal and some other people. And so the courtroom basically looks like a classroom with a whole bunch of uh, tables or desks set up row after row with all with the plaintiff, which is the federal government, and all their personnel, and all their electronic equipment, and all of the defendants. And then there's the jury, which is 20 people, because you've got 12 jurors and 8 alternate jurors. Uh, and then there's very small space for public. There's actually, each of the defendants can designate two people that can be there with them. So in Ammon Bundy's case, for example, one would be his wife uh, and, and maybe another family member or close friend. Same thing with Ryan, Shauna Cox, all the other defendants. So that amounts to 14 people. Above and beyond those 14 people, there are only five seats left for the public, the so-called public. There are actually, that's right, two seats are assigned to basically mainstream media, which I understand are assigned in this case to uh, reporters for uh, Oregon Live, the Oregonian, and Oregon Public Broadcasting. So there's a lot of other mainstream media reporters that aren't able to get in the courtroom. Uh, that includes Sam Levin with The Guardian, uh, John Cabell with ABC News. I've been talking to a number of those guys who aren't able to get in the courtroom themselves, but we're all able to go into an overflow courtroom where it's being piped into. And I'll talk more about that later uh, in terms of uh, some of the judicial transparency issues that I've been talking about in other contexts. Uh, the fact that they have the ability to pipe live stream the trial other places and my perspective is that it would be beneficial to a lot of people if it were made available to more people. I can see that the sun is changing on me here where I'm at on this terrace at the federal courthouse so I, I'm going to wrap up this clip for now and come back and talk more about uh, Sheriff Dave Ward's testimony.